In a previous video, we measured and cut a rocker panel so that it would fit just right and we could butt weld it. There are a few pitfalls to look out for though when butt welding two pieces of metal together in auto body. One is that in this case we have a panel that has some galvanized coating and one that doesn't. We could run into some heat issues, distorted panels, or even a fire inside. You could blow holes, you know, having the wrong setting, crummy welds, welding at various angles or even upside down. Uh, again, different types of metal, and sometimes you even get thin metal on one panel and thick metal on the other panel. So again, like I said, there are some pitfalls to run into, and in this, in this video, hopefully I address those and I can make that job a little bit easier for you. Before welding, I thought I'd show you the settings on the welder. I'm going to be setting this at 40 for the wire speed, 1 or 2 for the volts, and I have my gas permanently set at 20 cubic feet per hour. And I use 0 .023 for the size of the wire. So here we go. I have the welder set at 1 at first, just to try it. Now again, remember, if you run into some pitfalls, do not worry about it, you can fix it. So let's give it a try. Again, it's set on one. So you can hold it away, but I like to set it, set the nozzle right on the metal. So here we go. And it does feel like it's a little I need to turn up the voltage. So I turned it up to two. And that's a little better. And hopefully we can just keep uh, putting those spots right next to each other. Here's a close-up view of that section before we wire brush it or sandblast it or grind it down. I'm going to finish up this end, then we're going to move to the front section. Now we'll be butt welding the front, so let's see what we run into up here. And I'm getting a little bit of something weird on the weld, but we're not going to worry about that until we grind it. And now I'll move down and start to weld upside down here. And now it's welding a little better.
and that's it. And lastly, I just want to show you a pitfall that I did run into. I ran into some thin metal right here, a little bit rusty that I had to cut out and put a patch. I probably should have cut it way back here, but I didn't know. So sometimes you run in to some pitfalls that you just have to fix. Now these welds can be ground down, sandblasted, knocked down a bit, and filled. I hope you enjoyed this video on butt welding patch panels and some of the pitfalls that you might run into in doing so. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.